Automations, they can be quite helpful for managing small elements of your account. I'm gonna give you a good worked example of how to use one when moving items inside of ClickUp. But obviously you can apply this to all the different environments that you may see small little steps being saved and time being saved in the process. So you can activate automations up in the top right hand corner. Now you can see I've got an active automation. I'll show you how that's created in a moment. But you can also see your usage here if you're looking to you know, set up things. In this free plan, it's included in your plan. You get 10,000 free automations for the plan that you have and you can upgrade it naturally here. But you can see that I've got this one set up. When a status task changes, create a task. Now, I'm gonna delete this one and start it from scratch and show you how you can go ahead and create one. Now there are loads of different categories, just FYI, if you want to just save time and create your own, there's even integrations as well. But for those who are looking for a bit more um, customization, this can be pretty helpful. So if I go here and I want to do something where if any of my active tasks are completed, and obviously this is video production, so I might want to follow up with a client in a few days after they're completed. And what I might do is anything that gets done or closed, I will want something to happen during that time. So naturally I can go ahead and create a task. Now what's cool is I can give it a title and I can actually give it a task name, which is actually the task name of the actual action that you're kicking this automation off on. Now, because this is part of the video production, um, the pretty production area, I can move that. So obviously one of the things that's pretty helpful is you can add a status. So here I'm actually gonna put it in review um, because obviously once I wanna create this task, I want it to loop back, which is pretty helpful. I can add a description. So in this case, I might wanna add the task description and also I can add relevant stuff like that. But the thing that I might fancy adding is maybe some context like the URL, and um, I think probably who was involved in it. Here I can add priority level, so it could be a low one, and I want it to trigger days after um, this actual trigger date here. And I want it to be assigned to me too. So perfect, I can go ahead and create it. I can even add an additional action if I want to, to really knock a few actions, um, obviously keep it going uh, if I do find it more suitable. So if I go ahead and create it, you'll find it in your active automations area. You can actually add a description there, delete it and unactivate it as well. But let's go ahead and move one of the, say, Acme company documentary over to published. Now what should happen in a few moments is a task should appear to review and follow up items. So as you can see here, a item has appeared for follow up Acme company documentary. This is helpful because now I can actually activate this and give it a few indicators to making sure it's not missed in the whole video production process. This is just a small example of the wide variety of options that are available inside of the automate area. You can do anything from changing the priority to changing who's actually involved in it all the way to applying specific templates. It's quite extensive, it's well worth checking out, and we'll do another feature on how you can connect up Calendly too. Hopefully this was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.